Good afternoon and welcome to our midday mole for Thursday the 16th of April, the day that was supposed to be the end of the lockdown. But that's now been extended for two weeks and we're not sure when that will actually come to an end now. Um, hopefully it is just the two weeks, but we wait and see. Um, today I was reading from Ecclesiastes, that passage about time, uh, the passage made famous by Pete Seeger and the the birds in their song to everything turn 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 but the words from ecclesiastes speak to us there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to uproot a time to kill and a time to heal a time to tear down and a time to build a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time of peace. And in one sense, we're at the same point in time and in a unique way are sharing experiences which hasn't been usual where we're all locked down together and nobody can go out and nobody can do this and so we are united in that regard but at the same time i think each person in their individual experiences and would will be in a different place and as the writer talks about times in life um, we see that so clearly in the church where in the church we have the time of celebration and we have people coming with the joy of a wedding and getting married and the promise of life. But we also have people coming when that marriage is broken down and there's a time of, of, of reconciliation or sometimes even just a time of trying to restore people um, and help them to recover. We have times where children come and we have the joy of baptism, new, young babies and new life and that's full of enthusiasm. But we also have funerals where we look back on a person's life and we, we mourn together. And so the life in the church reflects what the writer, to Ecclesiastes, the writer of Ecclesiastes spoke about. And the encouragement is that no matter where we are in life, life will change. And if we are um, happy and content and at peace today, we mustn't expect that to just stay the same. Like, that will change. And if, we, if we're in a bad place and we're depressed and we, we're worried and concerned, we're not stuck there either. Life will continue and we will have the new experiences. But in all of this, as Christians, we know that our life is not lived on our own. Jesus has said he's with us. And so whether we're planting or uprooting, whether we're weeping or laughing, whether we're scattering stones or gathering them. As our life goes on, God is with us. And that is an encouragement and a strength. Be blessed.